Hey, welcome back for the Kanpai guys. We have another mystery drink made by my dear friend David. It's not a mystery drink, it's just a gin and tonic. Okay, I don't believe you. <laughs> Some Reynolds. Uh, I think that's a, an outright lie. <laughs> and tonic and you might have something added in it you might not you okay. may not be able to taste it you might i really can't tell i mean it smells like a gin and tonic so what's the name of this one would you like me to tell you or would you like to try it no well, i'd like to try it first maybe, but like did you give it a name like guess what i put it no i thought you could name it oh thank you okay shall we uh have you tried this yet i have not Okay, shall we drink it at the same time? I would suggest sipping it. <laughs> okay. Not gulping it. Okay. It could be fine. We'll see. All right. Just well, bottoms up. What? N nothing out of the ordinary yet. Pretty regular. See? Got it. <laughs> well, I did add something in here, but it didn't seem to infuse very well. Something very spicy, I'm assuming. The first time I made this, I made a Carolina Reaper vodka. Mm -hmm. That you could tell immediately. Right? Yeah. Is this Carolina Reaper? No. Is it like jalapeno? No. Uh, chili pepper? It is a chili, yeah. I can kind of taste something. Something, but it's not spice. Kind of like the smokiness of a like jelly pepper. Okay. <laughs> I'm really impressed. This is quite nice. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> kind of annoyed it's not hot. But... God damn it, Larry! <laughs> <laughs> See, you're annoyed, and I'm I'm quite uh. Chuffed. Relieved. <laughs> so the thing is, I was like, I knew when I made the Carolina Reaper one that was going to be crazy. And it was kind of Larry, right? Mm -hmm. I mean, that was intense. Yep. Yeah. This one I used ghost pepper or Jalokia. Really? Okay. Which until fairly recently was the hottest chili on the planet. I removed a few of the seeds and didn't put the whole, put like most of one in. A bottle of this size. But when I made the Carolina Reaper one, I put like half of it in a bottle like this size. Mm -hmm. So that tells you the difference between Jalokia and Carolina Reaper, I think. Or maybe because gin already has different like infusions, maybe it kind of uh, like cancels out somehow. This is good though. It does have like some kind of I like it. essence. In it. Right. You could bottle it and sell it. Yeah. You're halfway there. Would you like to hear some information about Boots Jalokia while you drink your drink? Sure. Yeah. I'm a little afraid though that it might like haunt me later, if you know what I mean. Uh, the ghost pepper, also known as Boots Jalokia, this is from Wikipedia, is an interspecific hybrid chili pepper. He's a smart ass, that's what he is. That's what I meant. Cultivated in northeast India. It is a hybrid of capsicum. Chinense and capsicum fruit essence. Heat exceptionally hot. Scoville scale 1 million 1304. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> In 2007, Guinness World Records certified that the ghost pepper was the world's hottest chili pepper, 170 times hotter than Tabasco sauce. Jeez. Well, don't dig too deep. You might get burned by the molten lava. Uh, the ghost chili is rated at more than 1 million Scoville units. However, in the race to grow the hottest chili pepper, there was a race. It's kind of a fad. Right? Yeah. 
<clears throat> the ghost chili was superseded by the Trinidad Scorpion Butch Tea Pepper in 2011 and the Carolina Reaper in 2013. Is Carolina Reaper still the hottest? Yep. It's held that title for uh, nine years now. Uh, just a bit about the etymology. So the name Butjolokia uh, means Bhutanese pepper in Assamese hmm. language. The first element, but, meaning Bhutan, was mistakenly confused for a near homonym, but, meaning ghost. <laughs> That's why it's also good, called the ghost pepper. Interesting. Uh, in Assam, the pepper is also known as B. Jolokia or poison chili, and Jolokia chili pepper, denoting the plant's heat. In Bangladesh, the pepper is referred to as Naga Morich or Naga chili. Similarly, in Nagaland, <coughs> Nagaland, Nagaland, in the land of China, people hardly got nothing at all. Disneyland for people who are like ridiculously hot chili. <laughs> One of the regions of cultivation, the chili is called Naga Jalokia. This name is especially common in other regions where it's grown, such as Assam and Manipur. Other usages on the subcontinent are Saga Jalokia, Indian Mystery Chili, and Indian Rough Chili. Indian Rough Chili? <laughs> rough Weekend? Is that a name for this? The Rough Gin and Tonic? Oh. Kind of tastes more elegant than a Rough Gin and Tonic. Yeah. That's a cool name, actually, like a Rough Gin. Rough Gin, yeah. Rough Gin. In northeastern India, the Butch Jalokia is also known as the King Chili, or I like this. The King Cobra Chili. The King Cobra. King Cobra Chili. <laughs> That's very like 1980s matcha. That should be on the back of like a Yakuza style like jacket. Yeah. King Cobra Chili. <laughs> 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 Picture of an Indian dude eating it with his head on fire or something. Yeah. <laughs> well, well, I must say it's quite good. I have one more in my fridge. Would you like me to add the second one to the leftovers? See if we can uh, try a round two video, a follow up. That reminds me, I still have that Umeshu <laughs> that we tried. I, I said we'd come back a year later. Mm. It's been like a year and a half, I think. Umeshu video follow up? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, I give this, uh, give this eight compas. Thank you. Yeah, yeah, very good. Is the name the Ruffed Ginnagotta? Is that what we kind of got? Gin and Tonic? I like that roughed gin and tonic, or roughed up. Roughed up. Roughed up gin. <laughs> I'm sure that's a brand of gin in England somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> Just so you're wondering, in my fridge right now, I have one book Jalokia, five Scotch bonnets, and about a hundred Thai birdseye chilies. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like somehow I'm not. Would like to know that. Somehow I'm not divorced. So. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, now is uh, like chili growing season in Japan. So if you go to a local farmer's market, you might actually come across Carolina Reapers, Jalokias, definitely Jalapenos. What's I'm surprised like? you found like ghost peppers at those places? What's kind of scary is they're just like openly on sale and they have a sign that describes what each one is. Mm -hmm. But there's no one like advising anyone what that is. So you could totally be like a completely ignorant Japanese. I don't know anything about chili and yeah. pick this up. But Also, we're in the Japanese countryside yeah. at a farmer's market. So it's going to be 95% yeah. elderly, right? It's basically elderly people, chefs, and me. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> if you ever write a biography, that could be a good name for it. The elderly. Chefs and me. <laughs> My chili life. <laughs> yeah. My life in chili. <laughs> Who knew hell could be this chili? <laughs> nice. That's <the> keeper. <laughs> Please use that. <laughs> Honestly, if you were like uh, a person just picked up a Carolina Reaper without knowing what that is, you could do yourself some damage. Other than like rough bowel movements. Can you have any like lasting damage from eating? Well, even touching it. 
like of course it like hurts like it, it will burn your hand for like a week an actual burn yeah i got burnt from a thai bird's eye chili whoa really yeah that's like a, insane like a blister so you can actually hurt yourself oh you would fuck up your hand if you touch the reaper you need to wear double gloves to cut that thing whoa if you fry it you just burn everyone in the fucking house <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Whoa. When I cut the ghost pepper to make this, it like released like this gas into the air. And you gave that to me? I gave it to you. Oh, that tastes good. <laughs> Thanks for watching. If you're not subscribed yet, please consider subscribing and hitting the bell notification icon down below. If you like Jolokia, give us a like. If you dislike Jolokia, give us a like. If you're alive, give us a like. If you're dead. Give us a like. If your whole family likes gin, just get everyone to give us a like. Yeah. If you live in, what was it, something land? Nagaland? Yeah. If you wear a giant mascot chili outfit in Nagaland, you have to take pictures with little kids who love chilies. It's a like. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> We're just offending an entire area of a country right now. Right? I don't know. They go over it. I don't know. I'll ignorance on that one. They eat ghost peppers for lunch, they'll be alright. <laughs> See you on the next video. See ya.